Depressive disorder is different from just any sadness that comes from disappointment or sorrow. The word disorder means an abnormal physical or mental condition. Patients suffering from depressive disorder or depression are in a longer state of sadness than normal, to the point that it disrupts normal daily activities because of symptoms like insomnia, inability to focus, lack of appetite, complete loss of interest. Everything just seems terrible. Depression can come from many different causes, like genetics and chemical imbalances in the brain, but it's most often triggered by a traumatic event, like the loss of a loved one or personal failure. Just because someone is suffering from depression, it doesn't mean that they are weak, give up easily, or are unwilling to tackle a problem. But due to the illness that has occurred to their mental state, it means that they are not ready to face the issue. It's like being in a pitch dark room and no matter where they turn, they just can't see the exit. But with proper help and supportive peers, it's like there's a helping hand in turning on the light which guides them to solving their problem on their own and returning to their regular lives. Many of you are probably wondering if perhaps you fall into this category too. Let's see if within the last two weeks you have experienced any of the following symptoms. 1. Feelings of discouragement, sadness, or despair. 2. Complete loss of interest in activities or hobbies. 3. Loss of appetite or extreme overeating. 4. Insomnia or excessive sleeping. 5. Feelings of anxiousness, restlessness, or complete lack of motivation. 6. Fatigue, easily decreased energy. 7. Feelings of worthlessness and disappointment in oneself. 8. Lack of concentration, focus, memory retention, and inability to make decisions. 9. Suicidal thoughts. If you have experienced more than five of these symptoms almost every day within the past two weeks, it could mean that you are at risk of having depressive disorder. But before diagnosing yourself with depression, you should consult a psychiatrist who can offer you their professional opinion after conducting a detailed analysis. Seeing a psychiatrist or psychologist isn't unusual or something to be ashamed of. It's an incorrect assumption that those who seek mental health professionals are insane. In reality, those that are suffering from stress or complex issues with no one to confide in can also consult a psychiatrist or psychologist. Mental disorders are exactly like physical disorders that require specific consultation. It's the same as if your teeth hurt that you see a dentist or your knee hurts that you see an orthopedist.